Hello, my earth sign friends. Thank you for joining me on my page. This is Indigo here doing your Monday, September 10th. Love reading. This is for couples, um, exclusively dating, married, or in separation. Um, if if that's not you, I did make I do make um, single readings now. So check out that video if you're unsure in what part of your path you're on. Uh, watch them both and take what resonates out of both of them. So we will get started here in just one second. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, first card will be Taurus. Sorry about that. First card will be Taurus. Second card will be Virgo. Third card will be Capricorn. Bottom of the deck is your guys' shared energy or overall situation. Um, and I will pull male and female clarifiers. All right, Spirit's saying one more. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in that order. All right, Taurus couples. Well, hello, Hierophant. Cap or Virgo couples. Ten of Pentacles. And Capricorn. Six of Wands in reverse. Well, we were on a pretty good streak there. Bottom of the deck. The Eight of Cups. Wow, the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Three of Cups. You know what? I'm taking all these two because this is the story of our Earth signs right now. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I could probably go about 12 deep in this one. So first of all, I'm going to just, since there's so many cards here. I'm going to um, do your shared energy um, situation because I pulled seven cards, I think, are there. That will apply to all three groups. Um, and then I will go through each one uh, of your individual signs. So um, you're all being faced with a choice of whether to move forward away from a connection that you have put a lot of time, energy, emotion, um, investment into. This card is um, calling for you to walk away into a more spiritual path and leave behind you what does not serve you. Um, yeah, it's it's time to go on your on your own in your own direction, and and find out what's out there for you. In this card, this person doesn't know where they're going. All they know is they are moving away from where they've been. They are making the trek up the mountain. And the only thing they know is they are following their inner voice and the light of the moon, the universe. After this, uh, after you walk away from whatever situation is not serving the, your greatest good, you will come out of a state of confusion. You, this is letting go of your ego, um, listening to your soul your inner voice, and letting it lead you in the path that it needs to go. You're making a choice, a conscious choice, whether it be between two people, two situations, two paths, two whatever. You had a choice between two things, and you are making a clear decision after coming, um, after realizing the truth. This does have to do with a third-party situation, but when you make a choice, there will be a reason to celebrate as well. One will be celebrating. One will feel betrayed. Because like I said, this is a third party and you are making a choice. And one of you will be moving forward. So that's the situation of the overall energy. Um, Taurus, this has to do with somebody that you are married to. Somebody that you are in a long-term commitment with. This is somebody that you've been together with for a long time. Um, you could have possibly already tried marriage counseling and nothing seems to be working. So, um, the overall energy of this, uh, group of you is you are moving on. You have awakened to the realization that no matter how hard you put the work in, it's just, it's not meant for you. Taurus males. And Taurus females. Okay, so um, Taurus males, you guys have the four swords in reverse. 
it's uh, spirit is saying today, you need to just take a step back, remove yourself. You're in need of some rest. You're in need of some uh, relaxation and to, to try to look at things in a different perspective uh, instead of just one sided. Not everything is black and white. Uh, Taurus females, you have the three of pentacles. So you're, you're throwing yourself into work, um, to try to forget about whatever, uh, situation that you are dealing with. You are going to, um, come to the conclusion. However, with this, uh, ace of swords, you are going to come to the decision that whatever, uh, you are dealing with is not in your greatest good and you are ready to move forward. I do see this as a mutual, uh, for you Taurus females, this is a mutual split. Now at first they could have wanted it and you didn't, or you wanted it and they didn't, but now you are both coming to the mutual conclusion that, uh, that this is no longer serving anybody. And this is all, um, I do see this coming out in the last three days today or the next three days. Virgo, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles. You are moving forward um, and moving on into a relationship that you feel is your Ten of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Oops. I don't know what it is about you earth signs, but oh my gosh, my cards are flying everywhere with you guys. Okay, Virgo men, Virgo females. Okay, so, uh, okay, so Virgo men, uh, you guys are going after, you guys are setting out in search of your guys' Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you have made the clear choice that you are leaving. Um, you are, you are moving towards somebody that at one point in time you were sneaking around with. This is somebody that you did things in the dark. You kept this person a secret. However, you feel they are your 10 of cups. So you are now mo moving towards them. Sorry, I just have, I have a very active area right now. Yeah. Yeah, you are choosing the person that gives you the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, Virgo females, you, yeah, you are throwing yourself into work and not offering your love to anybody because you feel like you were betrayed. You were the one that was backstabbed by this, uh, by this three of cups energy and you are moving forward and away from this person. You are going to get your 10 of pentacles, but for right now, you're just diving deep into work. You're not even wanting to think about this past relationship or this relationship that is ending. Um, yeah, you are moving forward and choosing yourself over anybody else. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn males. You guys are feeling defeated. You have the page of wands. So you could be getting a, a message from a fire sign. And you're just feeling really bummed out today. Um yeah, this relationship that is ending for you guys. But you are moving towards somebody who fills your heart. You are moving towards a water sign female or a female that is very emotional um, and isn't afraid to show how they feel about you. So that's very positive for you Capricorns. Okay, Capricorn females. You guys are in the hanged man. And you know what? As a single Capricorn uh, reading, the females got the same card. So um, you guys are leaving a relationship today and you are deciding to heal 
take a step back. You're going to heal your own heart. You're going to, um, yeah, you're just going to take time to allow the hurt to go away. Uh, the saying time heals all wounds. You're taking that to heart. You're taking a step back and, and not wanting anything really to do with this relationship today because you are leaving. I do see both Capricorn male and female being the ones to end this relationship. You're no longer feeling successful at it and you are making the choice to walk away from somebody. But Capricorn males, you have a water sign female coming in right away. Okay. Uh, codependency addictions could be affecting your romantic life. This also came out in the singles reading. Some of you are dealing with addictions. Some of you are dealing with, um, being dependent on somebody else. Financially, you're worried about, uh, going it alone. Um, you, you will be okay if you want to walk away. If you want to set out on your spiritual journey alone and see what else is out there for you, go in search of your two of cups. Um, the universe always takes care. So, yeah, for those of you who are dealing with addictions, this is tearing your couple, this is tearing your relationships apart. Um, seek, uh, I'm sorry, I just got a really painful, <laughs> I just got a really painful pain in my head. Uh, seek the, the support of others. Those who really love you, those uh, partners that are truly um, wanting the best for you, they will help you through this time of healing and getting healthy again. So um, turn to your loved ones. They will be there to help you. Um, for the rest of you, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring in new romance. So if you're wanting to fix the relationship you're in, um, be optimistic. Search for help. Um, and you guys, if you both want to make it work, it will work. If you guys are breaking up from this coupleship that you got going on, um, stay positive. True love will find you and, um, and just always be positive, remain hopeful and have faith in your journey. So I hope you guys have a great Monday and had a good weekend. I will see you guys next time. I want to thank you for joining me on my channel and I send you much love.